Now we move on to the second example problem, which is in fact the last example problem of this lesson. This is a small and short lesson. Now we have, we have to solve polynomial equations. We have the problem saying for an exhibit with six or fewer emperor penguins, the pool must have a depth of at least four feet and a volume of at least one six one and one thousand six twenty gallons or about two hundred and seventeen cubic feet that is feet to the power three per bird this is important per bird if there is three birds that would mean three into two one seven that's that's what it meant per bird if a zoo has five emperor penguins what should be the dimensions of the pool shown in the figure to meet the minimum requirements so now you have five birds with you so what would you do you need to multiply so over here, when you multiply this 5 times 217, what's going to happen? Before that, volume is basically all the dimensions must be multiplied. Now over here, since they have told 5 emperor penguins, it must be so much. 217 into 5. That is 1085 feet cube. Now, after that, the equation represents a volume. And what is the total volume over here? We can just easily solve it up isn't it we can just solve so now uh, solve it up in the sense multiply all this so the equation over here is 2x plus 3 times 5x minus 2 times 2x that is equal to 1085 feet cube now the next step would be solving this how would you do you can do binomial multiplication that's uh, you can do the you know uh, foil method that's the method, foil method, and you can solve. Sorry, it's not a two x. It's over year to year, here to year, over year to year, and over year to year. Just multiply them, and you will get the answers. So it would be two two x times five x plus two x times two. This and this. Sorry, it's minus two plus three times five x plus three times negative two. And then whatever you get the answer, multiply it by two x. So when you multiply over here, you will get 10x squared, so 5 times 2 is 10, x times x is x squared, negative minus becomes negative, 4, 2 times 2 is 4x, and 3 times 5 is 15x, and over here you are minus 6. And this can be multiplied further hand, and then you will be getting, so over here now they have simplified, sorry, minus 4 plus 15 is positive 11. Now you can multiply this inside. What happens? It will be 20x cubed because 2x is multiplied. Over here will be 22x squared. And lastly, you will have negative 6 times 2 is 6, 12. x. That is equal to 1085. Now, we have seen in the last section, mod 5, not 3, it is mod 5, 4. And write in the coefficients 20, 22, negative 12. What about the constant value? It's nothing, so it's 0. The answer is over here. Now, one second. I have, sorry, I have done a main mistake. The constant is not zero, guys. Look over here. Very, very important to note. The constant is this. You need to take it to the other side. What happens is this becomes negative over here. Negative 1085 is equal to zero. Take this to the other side. Make one side equal to zero and then you can solve. So the last value would be negative 1085. Now press equal to. So the x value is 3.5. And look over here. The other values are all imaginary. Whenever you have like this plus, that means it's imaginary. That is also imaginary. So only one real number, that is 3.5. You can do the same thing in calculator, a graphing calculator. You'll get the same answer. But now and then di directly extract the answer but now we did in our calculator we still get the answer because it's x to the power 3 that is cubic is the highest degree and now look over here this is the answer 3.5 the other two are wrong and then how do you find the length and width over here you need to just substitute so instead of x you need to put 3.5 3.5 times 2 is 7 plus 3 it's 10 same thing, 3.5 times 5, um, it will be 17, 8, 8, 7 times 2. Okay, anyways, uh, 3.5 times 2 is 7, 14, 15, 16, 17.5, yes. Minus 2 will be 
15.5. Okay, this is the answer. And then lastly, we have 2 times x is 3.5 into 2, it's 7. So this is the answers. And okay, that's it. So you found the length, width, and depth. Now, do check over here. Is the depth at least 4? Yes, it is absolutely more than 4 feet. Now, if you convert the gallons over here, you will come to know we got 1085, right, in the previous section. We had 1085 of cubic feet cube. That is more than 1620 gallons. So it is, uh, you know, it is above the minimum requirement. So, yes, these are the dimensions. So please do check for the depth. If at all the depth was less than 4, 3, no, that wouldn't be the correct answer. You could have tried other values. But in this case, we have only one correct answer. So this must be your exact answer. So these are your dimensions. So this is the end of this lesson. It is a very short lesson. Even the next lessons are very short and easy. So play, please stay tuned for the coming lessons.